Game number 10 has arrived and with that have arrived the South Africans. That presents a lot of questions to the two teams in action. Lucknow Super Giants and Sunrisers Hyderabad. Let's throw them all out to Tom Moody. Tom, thank you for your time. Uh, I know we have a lot of interest in chatting Sunrisers Hyderabad with you, but I'll ask you to hold that thought mm. and begin with Lucknow. Quinton de Kock is back. Yeah. There's no question he slots back into the team. But the issue here is the person you thought would take his place just for two games has been the, one of the best batters in Kyle Myers. So who goes out then for Lucknow? I think it is a very tricky situation for him, but I would stick with form uh, and I'd be resting Stoinis and keeping uh, Kyle Myers in, in the playing 11. Uh, and I'd bat him at three. Uh, so I'd have Quinn de Kock opening with Kale Rahul. Uh, Hood of four, Puran five, Colonel Pandya uh, six. So t to me that looks a stable and well balanced uh, batting lineup. Tough call on Stoinis obviously, but it's a long IPL. Uh, and I've noticed Stoinis hasn't bowled much, so there yeah. might be a little bit of a niggle there that can buy a bit of time for recovery from as well. Yeah, not, not bowled at all this season and not, didn't have the best of times with the ball in his first season with LSG as well. Uh, but on that batting lineup, Kyle Myers has been so sensational at the power play. Mm. You already know KL Rahul comes with his issues, which we're not going to touch upon. Uh, would you want to shake up a guy who's doing as well and giving you that impact? Uh, I still think he can do it at three. Um, you know, for the West Indies, he, he bats in the middle order. Um, so it's not like he's in unfamiliar ground. Um, you know, he could potentially be out there second ball. So I don't think that being a major issue. I think he'd be just over the moon that he's retained his spot. Um, and at three is a, you know, a, a pretty good spot to be. No KL Rahul fans. That's no dig on KL Rahul. We're not expecting him to get out in the first three balls. Let's shift our attention then to Hyderabad. A lot more changes here. Mm. The one right up top, of course, is uh, Aidan Markram. The captain returns, being one of the form players in T20 cricket. So vital to the franchise's success in the SA20 as well. That automatically adds so much more, doesn't it, to this team, Tom, which didn't look the best in their first outing. Yeah, they had a poor start, didn't they? First home game. Uh, they're travelling away now. Um, they've got all their South Africans available, so they've got a full complement to, to draw from. Uh, I don't believe they've got any injury issues. It's going to be a bit of a headache for them as well with regards to the overseas combinations. Obviously, Markram comes into that side. Uh, I'd be inclined to stick with uh, Phillips, uh, given that he's been given the opportunity first behind the stumps and as a middle-order bat. Uh, and Brooke, I'd be definitely playing. Uh, but with that, I don't think, with this new impact uh, player rule, I don't think I'd be naming my four overseas players in the playing 11 because I'd want the flexibility of possibly having either the leg spin of uh, Adil Rashid or Marco Janssen or even Faruqi, who had a very good game first up. Yes, yeah, so all three overseas options, but that would be a lineup that they can field if they're batting first. Yes. If they were bowling first and it got trickier, Yep. And you had to pick one of those overseas bowlers. Who do you think blends best with the Indian contingent? Yeah, I, I think Faruqi, uh, given he had a good start um, to the campaign, Hyderabad, particularly when it was going against them, he was he along with Natarajan was the ones that really pulled it back because it was you know they were staring down the barrel of two two five possibly even more, uh, but they they managed to pull it back. So I, I'd stick with Faruqi at this stage. Just want to chew your brains a bit more on that Phillips call. Yeah. Because Heinrich Klassen brings with him a solid record in India, exceptional numbers against spin, insanely good over the last year across T20s, yeah. and you'd reckon a more solid wicket keeper than Glenn Phillips. Are you not tempted to slot him straight into this 11? I am tempted, yeah, uh, without a doubt. But uh, Phillips has had equally a uh, good time of it in T20 cricket over the last two years. I don't think anyone's hit any more sixes than him over the last two years in T20 cricket. His keeping needs a little bit of brushing up, but you know I'm sure that will come. But I, I, I'd be inclined to give him the best uh, opportunity first, uh, knowing that Klaassen's ready to go if, if it doesn't work out. So Hyderabad versus Lucknow then. Hyderabad will be chasing their first win. Lucknow looking to regroup after having lost to Chennai. We'll have all of it covered for you right here on T20 Timeout right after the toss. Do join in.